For today's video, we are going to focus our discussion on how to find the present value at compound interest compounded annually. So to find the present value, we are going to use the formula P equals F over 1 plus R raised to T, where P is the principal or the present value, F is the maturity value or the future value at the end of the term, R is the rate, and T is the time in years. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find the present value at compound interest compounded annually. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, what is the present value of 50,000 due in 7 years if the money is worth 10% compounded annually? So to find the present value, let us determine first the given. So 50,000 is our future value. Then rate is 10% or 0 0.10. And then time will be 7 years. We are going to find the present value or the principal. And let us also include the interest. Now, to find the principal, we are going to use the formula P equals F divided by 1 plus R raised to T. Our future value is 50,000 over 1 plus rate that is 0 0.10 raised to 7. Then, let us simplify. We have 50,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to 7. That is 1.10 raised to 7. So, let us write again 50,000. 1.10 raised to 7, that is 1.9487171. And then let us divide 50,000 divided by 1.9487171, that is 25,657.90. zero. Five nine one one five three five, or we can write our answer as twenty five thousand six hundred fifty seven point ninety one. So this will be our principal. Now, what about the interest? How do we find the interest? So to find interest, that is. Future value minus principal. Our future value is 50,000 minus the principal that is 25,657.91. So let us subtract 50,000 minus 25,657.91. Our interest is 24,342 0.9. So this will be our answer. On example number two, in order to have 250,000 in five years compounded annually, how much should you invest if the interest is 12%? So in order for us to find the principal, let us determine first the given. So if we have 250,000, that is our future value. Then, Time, that is 5 years. Then, rate, that is 12%, or we can write as 0 0.12. And we are looking for the principal, and let us also include the compound interest. So to find the principal, we are going to use the formula P equals F over 1 plus R raised to t. Our future value is 250,000 pesos over 1 plus rate that is 0 0.12 raised to 5. 
Then let us add this one. Let us have 250,000 over 1 plus 0 0.12, that is 1.12 raised to 5. And then let us raise 1.12 by 5. So that we're going to have 250,000 over 1.12 raised to 5, that is 1.762341683. And then let us divide. 250,000 divide by 1.762341683, that is 141,856.7139457474. Or we can write our answer as principal, that is 141,856.7139457474. One. So this will be our answer. What about the compound interest? So to find compound interest, we are going to use the formula future value minus principal. Future value, that is 250,000. Minus principal, that is 141,856.71. So let us subtract. The compound interest is... 108,143.29. So this will be our answer. On my last example, how much money should a student place in a time deposit in a bank that pays 1.1% compounded annually so that he will receive 200,000 pesos after 6 years? So let us determine the given. So we have future value. That is 200,000. And then, rate, that is 1.1% or simply 0 0.011. Then, time will be 6 years. And we are looking for the principal. And let us also include compound interest. So, to find the principal, we are going to use Principal equals F or future value over 1 plus R raised to T. Our future value is 200,000. And then 1 plus rate that is 0 0.011 raised to 6. Then let us simplify. We have 200,000. Divide by 1 plus 0 0.011, that is 1.011 raised to 6. Then, let us rewrite 200,000. 1 1.011 raised to 6, that is 1.067842. Six, and then let us divide two hundred thousand divided by one point zero six seven eight four one eight four zero six. Our principal is one hundred eighty seven thousand two hundred ninety three point six five three seven nine three nine two. Or we can write our answer in simplest form. That is 187,293.65. So this will be the principal. And then the future, uh, the interest rather, is future value minus principal. Our future value is 200,000. Then minus the principal, that is 187,293.65. And then let us subtract. 200,000 minus 187,293.65. The interest is 12,706.35. So this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.